Have you ever had a Java edition or Bedrock edition world that you wanted to convert to the other edition? Or have you ever wanted to downgrade a world, for example, for better compatibility with a server? Well, if that's the case, then today you're in luck. Because today I'm going to show you a very cool tool which allows you to convert a world from one edition to another and downgrade it along the way if you want. Do be sure to double check if you're actually subscribed to the channel. I would appreciate it so much. So the tool we're going to be using for this is called Chunker. And it is an open source Minecraft world converter. The fact that it is open source, that is a big win already. And it actually works really well. Now you might wonder which crazy corporation is making this incredible tool. Well, you might have heard about them before. Yes, Hive Games. The same corporation who is also behind the Hive Minecraft server. But the main question is of course, how do we use it? Well first up, you simply want to download it. It is available for Windows, macOS and Linux. So simply opt for the version that matches your operating system. If you're on Windows, you will get the exe file. And you don't actually have to install anything. We can simply double click this file. And Chunker will simply go ahead and open. Would you look at that? So now, before we can actually convert a world, we need to retrieve it. In other words, we need to find the location of the world, either on Java or Bedrock Edition, so that we can get the actual file and then convert it to the other version. If you're on Java Edition, you simply want to navigate to the world that you want to convert. Then we're going to go ahead and click on Edit. And over here, we're going to click on Open World folder. This will open the actual world folder. But of course, we don't want to change anything here. We want everything inside of this folder. So we're just going to back out one so that we're in the saves folder. And then over here, we got the entire world. By the way, if you're wondering where you can get this world, it is available on Phoenix Store. I will leave a link to it in the description down below. And if you use code Kasasara at checkout, you can save a whole 15% off of your purchase. But back to the world folder, I would highly recommend simply making a backup in other words, I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it right here. That way, even if I ruin the world in the process, which by the way is hard to do, but let's say it does happen, then you will still have the original world available. Now, if you're on Bedrock, getting your world is just as easy. You simply want to click on play. After that, you want to click on the little edit icon next to your world. And then in general, all the way at the bottom, you will see an export world option. Simply click on there. Then you can clear the player data if that is something you want to do. And next, we're simply going to click on export world. Then you can choose a location. And there we go. Our world has been exported. Next, we're going to go back into Chunker and let's go ahead and drag in our Java Edition world. Just like that. We're going to click on Start and immediately it is going to give you a bunch of different options. So with this Java Edition world, we have the choice to export it to Bedrock Edition and you can see you can export it to whatever Bedrock Edition version you want. It supports it all the way back to 1.12 but then you can see the source version is 1.21.10 on Java Edition but if we want to downgrade this world to let's say 1.8.8 that is something you can totally do now from my perspective the main reason you would potentially want to downgrade a minecraft world is if you want to import it to a server minecraft servers are crazy when it comes to world compatibility if you import a 1.21.8 world into a 1.21.5 server it will most likely just not boot it of course does this to not potentially corrupt the world, but it can be very annoying at times, especially when there are no new items and blocks added between versions. And in that case, this can be really, really useful. But what we're going to do now is simply export it to Bedrock. So I'm going to click on Bedrock Edition, just like that. Then we need to scroll down all the way to the bottom and we can simply click on Convert now and we're basically done already. Or we can enter the Advanced Mode. And in the Advanced Mode, you can actually see your world. So would you look at that? We now have a top-down overview of this world, which is pretty cool. But we can also change a bunch of settings, like the difficulty, the game modes, the generation type. And this world I have here is actually a spawn. So we want this to be a void world. So I'm going to change the generator to void. Then we can change the name, we can change the seed, we can change the spawn location, if it is hardcore or not, if bonus chests are enabled or not, if spawning mobs should be allowed, yes or know a whole bunch of things you can also switch up minecraft dimensions which i don't really know why you would want this 
But in theory, you could make it so that your overworld is a nether. If you're a dead type of person, you, you can do that. And you can even include certain chunks that should be exported. So that way you don't export your entire world. Next, we got block mappings. And this is something which allows you to turn one type of block into another type of block. So if you want to change all diamond ore in the world to, for example, acacia buttons, that is something you can do. I don't know why you would want this, but it is a possibility. Now, this is, of course, mostly useful if you're downgrading a world and you want certain new blocks to be replaced with certain already existing blocks. So let's say you would go back to a version before copper blocks existed. You can make sure that all the copper blocks would be replaced by, for example, iron blocks or another early version equivalent. And then next we got the converter settings. And over here we just have a whole bunch of things we can switch on and off, like structure loot tables and in-game map conversions and discarding empty chunks if we want that, yes or no stuff like that. If you need one of these things, you will know. And then after we're done with all of that, we can simply click on convert. It is gonna do its thing. And after like 10 seconds, it will be ready to save. So we can click on save. It will allow us to choose a location and there we go. Our new subscribe world is now here. Now, if you want to convert a world from Bedrock to Java Edition, this works exactly the same. You can simply drag in the .mc world file, then click on start. And from here, you can go ahead and customize everything. But okay, this world is now supposedly available on Bedrock as well as I've just converted it. So let's go ahead and test if that's actually the case. It is Bedrock Edition, so we we can simply double click this file and would you look at that we're in the exact same world but now on minecraft bedrock edition that is looking good world was successfully converted and i look awful again <laughs> anyway that's it for today do make sure to subscribe to the channel join my discord thank you so much channel members and then i'll see you in the next one bye bye see you later bye bye